How about a Coppola Quick Facts? Coppola Quick Facts, I only have a few things here, but um, George Clooney actually auditioned for this film, um, and he had he auditioned for a role that only had one line, and it never <laughs> made it to the screen. So... <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that means that he was cast and they filmed it or he just auditioned for you know, maybe David Graff's role or something. I don't know. Or yeah. That guy who like got her a baby Ruth at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he could have played Doug. Yeah, he could play Doug. He, he would have been, been great. I, this was before he. Uh, this was like his ER days. Yeah, before his ER mm-hmm. days, before he became what he became. You know, he was he was really if you go back to that era, he was in a lot of things, but he was just in very small parts until mm. ER launched him into stardom. Now it's just crazy to think that George Clooney <laughs> wouldn't get cast in things, but back then mm-hmm. yeah. he was kind of uh, on the older side when he got uh, ER. I think he was in his forties. So mm-hmm. his whole career has come post what, 1997 or whatever. 94. 94. Well, that was when ER started, so that's when his, his break. I don't know. I can't remember when he left the show. It was probably like 97, 98. I feel like his first like big movie role was um, maybe Dust Till Dawn. That was like the first time he really starred in a movie, mm. um, which was a pretty big movie to start out with. You know, Robert Rodriguez and Tarantino being at the height of their power yeah. at that point. Yeah, so that was 96, so a couple of years after ER started. And that was yeah. probably I think he, he left, did probably both left for the show bit. after that. Yeah. He's kind of he Damon Wayne's it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> probably trying to ask him too much and then they Oh, uh, yes, the best comparison. They parted ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damon Wayne's. He he rose to prominence just like <laughs> Just, Just like, like George Clinton. <clears throat> <laughs> Both household names. <laughs> uh, uh, principal photography began on uh, the 17th of February, 1993, in a Baltimore neighborhood. Um, this entire film is actually shot in uh, Maryland, Baltimore area. That uh, Baltimore uh, neighborhood stood in for Tess Carlisle's hometown of Summersville, which for some reason in the movie is spelled wrong because <laughs> it's S O M E R S mm-hmm. Ville um, in real life, uh, which is about 45 minutes outside of Columbus. It's a real place. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe they just wanted to fictionalize it a little bit. Yeah, probably. Um, not really sure why that choice was made, but I think there's also, there's legal issues sometimes with using, Real cities, depending that on what they, sense. you know, you have to, there's local entities that will require money to use mm-hmm. the name or landmarks and stuff. And it varies from city to city and country to country. So I think it's easier to just sidestep it and just make a fake town and have not to deal with that shit. Yeah. This one is so like close though. Yeah. <laughs> That's the weird thing. It's like yeah. S-O-M-E-R versus summer. This was actually the, – the house was actually located in the historic Mount Washington section of Baltimore, in Maryland. Um, which it does – I don't know. I, it does feel like Ohio and it feels like Maryland at the same time. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cage has said of his character, secret agent, <laughs> secret service special agent in charge, whatever his, his full title is, uh, Doug Chesnick. Doug is straightforward, very focused, very direct, but he is also one of those guys who joined the Secret Service because he likes the adrenaline rush that comes from a high-action job. The problem is, in the service of Mrs. Carlisle, he's basically a waiter or a butler. So that kind of informed his whole performance throughout this movie. Adrenaline junkie who's basically just a waiter. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We want to be down there! you You go from the President's Secret Service detail to... Yeah. The wife of the former yeah, president. Guarding some old lady. Out in some homestead. In Ohio. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the biggest offense. <laughs> I just feel like they picked the most boring place they could think of. Yeah. Yeah, stick him in the middle of Ohio. That's about as far from the White House as you can get. Mm-hmm. And then the f- final quick fact here is, uh, I love this. I, I always love these little tidbits about how... Cage got along with his co-stars and stuff. 
<clears throat> Stars Shirley MacLaine and Nicolas Cage became great friends while filming due to their mutual love of animals. We've talked about this many times in the past, but <laughs> Cage has got snakes and crows and Dragons. flying squirrels and all sorts of shit <laughs> that he is taking care of. Yeah, he's got all sorts <laughs> of stuff. He's got iguanas that he keeps on his coffee table. Gives him a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Chameleons, he gives cigarettes, yeah. <laughs> I bet he really hated filming that scene just because of that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, they went on to co-adopt many animals together, including a ferret named Whiskers and a zebra <laughs> named Mr. Zed, which is funny because they talk about Mr. Ed in this film. Oh, man. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's, 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 that's hilarious. Yeah, it's funny. Both of them seem like really cool people. Uh, yeah. Shirley MacLaine mm -hmm. is seems awesome in real life. <laughs> I just love that. I just love the idea. You want to co-adopt a ferret with me? <laughs> Do they share custody of it? <laughs> Probably go back and forth. So I don't know. Maybe because they both, well, I don't know. Uh, at the time, 94, I think Cage was still living in Los Angeles, so maybe they were both in L.A. It's probably like something where it's like they co-adopted to pay for an animal that it lives mm -hmm. inside of an anim animal sanctuary mm -hmm. or a zoo or something. But it's still <laughs> awesome just to think that <laughs> Shirley MacLaine and Nicolas Cage bought a zebra together. <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, 